say away. Hello. Away. Wait, 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 wait. The energy must be high. Man. So when I say hello, then you say away. Hello. Away. Hello. Away. Hello. Away. Salam. Time to renew forgotten bonds with chants and songs learnt in a semester. The truth will fester. Welcome to the ceremony of wordplay with the ancestors. So swallow your vengeance as we partake in ascendance, communicating with higher descendants, exchanging and debating stories about our past, whilst educating black skins with white masks. Because our eight stick is hard for a new hafri. So suffer no quick fun rhyme for three. Styles of geleid, the antique kennis, but nog steeds as ek die aan educated menis. Different translated to Afrikaans, verskillend. Expressie die reik krets krets, brilliant. Afrik lyrik op resisting systems. Stelsel tot die kramp, lief nie practice resistance. En bepas so, hulle gebruik ons taal om te bepaal om te aanpas. Met hulle kon ze door, kon ze verbind aan die rasklas. Met hulle lineaal, kon ze verbind aan die rasklas. How's everybody feeling? How are you doing? How are you doing? I show some love, I do it! Yeah! And then we came in the fun bike, I represent the crew for the NZ Poetry Sessions. We're Poetry Sessions, the place where the poetry is beat. And now, how do you show some love, Tedex? Yeah. Shared with 
with the audience. So what we also try to do is to develop a particular ethic of listening in our in our session where we try to um, educate people about this new art form and about how to engage with it because the whole idea is that it's interactive and that we are having a conversation, right? Um, one of the sort of roots of this performance poetry is uh, the hip hop movement that, that started in the state and they've got this idea of a cipher. Does anyone know what a cipher is? Yes? yes. We've got one guy here. So, I mean, basically to break it down, it's, it's a circle where performers come together and share their, their, their pieces, whether you be a, if you're a beat boy, a uh, beat boy if you're like a rapper, rapper if you're an MC, whatever, whatever the case might be, you come together and you share. And that's where we met also and where we decided, no, this, this thing needs to grow bigger than us. And so now we, with that audience of about uh, between 200 to 300 people that come together once a month to, to hear poetry. Um, and to give you an idea of sort of the kind of thing that you can expect, one of our uh, performers that has, has often been there to leg up two months, uh, she is going to. In light of the rape crisis in our country, speak. Ears splitting and vulgar, summoning their eyes to hearken. Better taste speak, vomit the gag, amputate the festering wound inflicted on you, Christianing you as victims. Stifle silence, murmur exit signs, wave your mouth frantic, wide open, wide open, slit in the middle, stride your tiptoe, gushing from the pit of tunnels in the dark, in the park, on the bus. Scrape your way into the morning if you must, for they have come to bury us, paraphrase us, erase us, demean us, diminish us, delete us, confuse us, deny us, ignore us, walk on us, walk in us. So, so walk as children do, speak as children do, when they bluntly spill eavesdropped conversations expecting no blame or punishment for being at a certain place at any given time. And when asked, where did you hear or get that from? They either shrug in fear or expose the source without thinking. I pray you choose the latter and speak with that much conviction. We are so blessed in the South African context to come from a multilingual society. Within this room, I'm sure there's a, a variety of languages that are spoken. And this is our aim of ours, is to broadcast this reality onto our platform, so that a multilingual reality can be broadcast from the Indian poetry sessions. With this, the idea of different languages have different poetic traditions as well. And we aim to celebrate these different poetic traditions, where in the past, the idea of what true poetry is, with a capital P, has been excluded and only certain amounts of poetry have been celebrated. Our aim is to celebrate all poetry, so whether it be traditional page poetry, whether it be Mbongi praise poetry, whether it be rap, whether it be any, any form of poetry, even if it be spoken word, we aim to celebrate this. In Zing, poetry sessions is part of a greater community of spoken word and poetry movements within the country. At the moment, just a few kilometers from here in the next three hours, the Lingua Franca crew from Delft will be turning the Delft Red Office into a theater space where they'll be exhibiting one of their new latest works, a uh, spoken word play. Then we have out the observatory, we have the grounding sessions, which is a theme poetry session. Happens every Tuesday. Be sure to check that out at the boys if you're in the spot. And then we got in Joba, we have Word and Sound Poetry Collective, who's also doing amazing things and innovative things around video and poetry and live performance. And then there's also a poetry organization called Badalisha Poetry Exchange, which is there to archive different uh, performance poets within the whole of African continent. So we form part of a global community at the moment. One of the formats that have, has just grown amazingly our last slam, a poetry slam, right? It's just a competition where poets get together and see which one has the best work. It's all subjective, and the audience forms part of the, of 
one of the, one of the judges. Our last slam just attracted 400 people, and one of the amazing poets who's become a specialist in this is Tabiso Kuwana, and we'll just see one of his poems now. <laughs> Complicated verses, 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 rehearsed in reverse. Complex first words left minds in one speedy hearse. So search for a purse. Reverse rehearsed verse, uncomplicate the terms. Make it for his and hers that missed verse for years. You see, letters to the spirit should not be blurred. The layman heard absurd words, ideas like dispersed birds. Remember, it's for the herd, not the shepherd knowing the dirt. Recite a post research, precise host with verbs, ignite lobes like herbs. Does near juxtaposition or just our position, starving intuition? It's a juxtaposition of the knowledge and the mission with the dash of the wisdom. That's just my position. I forgot to ask permission to share my position. But fuck it, permission self granted. You see, this complex verse is slanted for the poets' complicated verses, for the poets' nurse the word versus herding, for the poets. I hope it was heard. Full stop. So, uh, so another aspect of what we try to do, Salomon, we have this discussion now is developing a new generation of poets. So um, we are very interested in identifying young high school uh, writers and performers that are, are keen to join our workshops that happen. Um, twice a month at Stellenbosch University, and then we try to impart uh, both writing and performance skills, and we try to um, create a safe space where these young poets can come together and um, express what's, whatever might be on their mind. And a lot of these kids also come from, from, from difficult backgrounds where um, something like uh, gang violence is a daily reality. So these are just some of the, some of the topics that the, that the kids address through, through the medium of poetry, what we truly believe is that um, poetry pr provides you with that uh, means of self-exploration, of understanding yourself better and also understanding society in which you live better. Um, and then the, the amazing thing that happens when you have these uh, poetry performance sessions is that for that to, for those one and a half or two hours, there is a, a temporary equality that emerges in this space where everyone feels welcome. Um, and where everyone has the, um, whoever has the guts can come up to stage and, and share whatever their reality is. Um, so uh, some of these high school um, kids have now formed a collective they call the Incredibles, and um, they uh, that form all, all, all over the place. They also recently collaborated with some UK poets, and so the whole idea was to come up with a, with a poem about the idea of home, what home means means to them. So here's an example of, uh, of one of our high school poets doing a thing. Hello, my name is Ntateng. My poem is My Home. And this is Talking Doorsteps, Kayamandi, Stalamosh, in Cape Town. And I used to live in this area. If home was a tree, it would look like a Garden of Eden, so pure, beautiful and at peace. It would look like hope, so big and bright even the blind could see. It would look like a woman, so full of life and strong. And she would say, my child, take my hand and let's walk this journey. Cut it in my arms and never let go. For you have arrived. For you are home. She would sound like a lullaby, so soothing. Erasing all the negativities. Completes me. Comforts me. She would sound like, holy and warm. The sound so great, it makes it all feel so right. For the heart of a woman opens doors to haters, strangers, lovers, preachers, to backstabbers and friends. If my home was the palm of my hand, it would throw grudges, give love, juggle integration and drop segregation. This home would dig holes for seeds to grow. If home was anything, it would be heaven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. Um, okay, so then we've got a few minutes left. We'll do what we do best and share share some poems again. Um, so yeah, this one is a, a, a love poem. Okay. 
I would like to use this opportunity to thank your DNA for its beautiful self-translation. The cells that gather together to build you. For the high concentration of melanin making pebbles of your eyes, the carrots and cultivating hairs here and there, your paws and their intoxicating whispers, their breath like goosebumps. Let me also thank your bones for their support. Without them, your muscles wouldn't hang like grapes in the vineyard of your body, and those tendon cables of passing praise that make you move so flawlessly and keep me up at night. The rhythm of your step, the grammar of your distant hands, and your face turning away from mine, like a poem's last line. Thanks. Thanks for love, Thanks for love. Hello. Hello. The darkness of the night overshadows the brightness of the moon. A wise man once said, the misunderstood and judge will eventually leave. I'm skeptical about this saying as it challenges my dream. I've been judged and misunderstood my entire life. That's enough to weaken any man's flight. I feel the stereotype of a post-apartheid success, a stigma which in my generation and nation does not best. My generation and nation has been classified as so-called. And what does that make me so-called black, so-called yellow, so-called blue? Or am I just a so-called person? Now before you step to me with your stereotypical knowledge of what you see on special assignment or third degree, let it be known. I have a brother who hasn't spent any time in Paul's more penitentiary. I have a sister who hasn't been a statistic of teenage pregnancy. I have a father who is still around and doesn't drink himself into a stoop on pop suck, better known as Elsie's Haluk. And as you can see, I definitely don't do Unga or Tuk. Let me tell you a story that my mother told me. She's my mother, so don't dare tell me that she lied to me. She told me, ain't hey, my son, you are a beautiful boy because within you is the confider. So never feel judged or feel like an outsider. She told me how my whole contained the tricks of the Nama and how my forefathers fought against the oppression of Vasco da Gama. So I need you to say yes. 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 Shout yes. yes. yes to being blessed, yes to being free, yes to being the best me that me and you can be. Yes to the mother, yes to the mourner. Yes to the little light he asked me for a few cents on the street corner. The darkness of the night will always overshadow the brightness of the moon. A wise man did once say the misunderstood and judge will eventually leave. I'm not skeptical anymore because I know it's in my creed. It might sound profound, but my time, your time, our time is now. Thank you so much for having me.